Hi, welcome to Zigaji Review. We continue with CES 2021 news. So this time is Samsung's turn to start letting us know what it is that they're bringing. I personally wasn't expecting a lot of new stuff from Samsung because I don't know. I, I personally, I will admit I'm a little biased when it comes to Samsung and that is against Samsung. One of the reasons is their TVs being super expensive and for one, not including Dolby Vision in their TVs, which for what they charge, it should be included. And a lot of people don't care or don't know about these things. So they just buy their TVs because they have Samsung on it. But hey, here they are announcing a brand new line of TVs using micro LEDs. So micro LED is a technology that promises deep blacks just like OLED but the difference is that you will be able to get a brighter picture because micro LEDs will get brighter than OLEDs can and also you will have the risk of burning that you have with OLEDs so this is a technology that promises to take over what OLED can offer a better technology if you will and I guess we'll have to see as TVs come out for the public. Now, last year, Samsung launched a, uh, what they were calling The Wall, which was a 146-inch micro-LED TV, which you needed professional people, professional installers to come and put a TV together for you. Obviously, the TV wasn't geared towards the masses. It was geared towards people who could afford a TV that cost over $100,000. This year, though, this year, we are supposed to get micro-LED TVs that you can buy if of course, you have the money. The sizes are just incredible. Technically, you could build your own movie theater at home. And given the situation that we are in, this might be a great way to, you know, have some entertainment at home. So micro LED TVs from Samsung are going to start at 110 inches. Then we're going to have a 99 inch screen and an 88 inch screen. Now, this is very different than mini LEDs, I know it kind of I mean, doesn't sound the same, but it sounds similar, micro mini. Uh, the difference, as I said on a previous video that you can see here, is that uh, mini LEDs are just smaller LEDs that you can pack together in a bigger array in a screen. And those work just like regular LEDs, where the light on each LED turns on when there's an image on the screen and it dims when there's darkness in the screen to make to to make the image dark on that area versus micro leds that actually completely turn off when there's no light coming through them exactly like oled tvs work this is the newest technology that we had in a long long time since oled and lcd was around so this is technically what the future is going to be or what the future will be some of the promises of the new micro led tvs is that you'll be able to install it yourself at home you will need any help to put it up on your wall these tvs are meant to be on your wall you can buy a stand for them is what they're saying but the idea is for you to put them on the wall they're supposed to be very thin kind of like oleds and they come in separate panels so you could technically put them together like a puzzle and because they work like separate panels, when it comes to the 110 inch screen size, you can technically divide the screen in four 55 inch screens where you could watch four different types of content at once in one TV. Somebody call Marty McFly because we're going back to the future. Okay, I want channels 18, 24, 63, 187 in the weather channel. That TV is, of course, going to be 4K. Uh, the price hasn't been announced. They haven't confirmed if it's going to support 2.1 HDMI technology or of, of what the refresh rate is going to be. Assumption is that if it's a new technology that's about to come out this year, that it will be 120 hertz refresh rates. 
and that it will have a 2.1 HDMI port. That is the hope, I mean, the minimum, especially for a TV. I wanna say we are probably not going to be able to buy a micro LED TV until at least uh, five years from now. And the reason I'm saying this is because LG came out with an 80 inch OLED TV last year, and that TV was $30,000. But you also gotta take into consideration that all the technology has been around for a lot longer where they could make an 80 inch TV and sell it for $30,000. Think about how long OLED has been around and just now you can buy a $30,000 TV. Get excited about the future for micro LEDs, but don't get excited about the fact that you might be able to buy it yet. The TVs will also finally, Samsung will finally, finally, freaking finally jump into the Dolby Vision bandwagon. So, Samsung here finally has something that it can compete head to head with an OLED TV. And maybe, maybe, maybe even come out on top. But of course we won't know any of those things until those TVs get in people's hands and people can review them and compare them to OLED. Are you excited about micro LEDs? Is this something that you think is going to be affordable? <laughs> That's kind of a damn joke, but go ahead and let me know in that comment section, your thoughts on micro LED. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.